Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of block-based theme development tutorial. Uh, in the previous video, we learned about how to create a page template, what they are, and how to create the header block template part. And if you go on to the front end, you'll notice that we already got our header being displayed. And you've got your menus, you can click on them and it takes you to those pages. I think it's showing us page ID too. Let's go ahead and update. Let's go ahead and update our permalinks. Settings, permalinks. I'm going to change this to post name. Okay. Now I'll go back to the front end, click on sample page. Now I have the slug available, which is brilliant. Now in this video, we're going to learn about how to create the footer block template part. So let's go back into the site editor and currently we are editing our indexed block, our index block template. So if you click on browse templates, you'll see that this is the index template that we are currently editing. If you go back to theme, you'll notice that you also have the template part available, which is the header, right? Because that's the one that we already built. So let's go ahead and add a footer template part now. So I'm going to click over here and then I'm going to click on this plus sign and I'm going to look for the template part. And I'm going to do a new template part. I'm going to rename this as footer. So you see I've changed this as footer. And then I'm going to click on advanced and change this to footer because it needs to be semantic HTML. And I'm going to give it a class of site footer. All right. The next thing we'll do is we'll add a group block. And inside of that, I'm going to add a column block. And let's go with the three column. Okay. In the first column, I'm going to again add the site title. I'm going to change the heading tag to H4. I think, yeah, that should be better. And then over here, I'll add some lorem ipsum and some paragraph. So let's do that. Lorem ipsum. Let's add this much. Okay. Let's say this is my paragraph. Let's go ahead and add some categories. So I'll, I'll go ahead and look for a categories block and let's go ahead and add that. So now you can see we have the categories being shown over here. Then in the last column, I'm going to put comments. So I'll do latest comments and now you can see it's displaying the latest comments, which is great. So that's our footer. And then over here down at the bottom, so I'm going to select this one and then over here down at the bottom, I'm going to do a group block. I'm going to give it a background and let's go with dark gray and I'm going to choose the text color to white and then over here, there'll be a paragraph block and I'll just say Cody Tech Academy at 2021. Then I'm going to put a copyright information and then I'm going to align it to the center. Think about it again. All of this work, we had to do it through the CSS, right? If you want to align something to the center, you have to write the CSS for it in, in a no standard theme. But here, it's as simple as just clicking a button and it's done. How easy and how simple it is, isn't it? Okay, cool. So you've got the footer, which is great. And now again, I'll click on update design. And now you're seeing that you're getting footer here and this is being, uh, this is being saved. So let's save it. There you go. And now if you go back to the front end, refresh, now you see that you've got footer. Of course, I don't have the uh, global style for padding and stuff, but we will worry about that later. Right now, let's just focus on getting the content for now. All right. Okay, once I refresh it, I see the fresh categories. Let's change to something else, shall we? Instead of categories, let's go with... Instead of categories, I'm going to try something different this time. Let's go with Tag Cloud. Let's go with Tag Cloud here. And I can see if you're getting the tags as well. So let's go with this one. Let's go back and refresh. So there you go, you've got your tags as well. Awesome. So that's that. And um, in the next video, we're going to do the content of the post, uh, which will contain your um, display of the post along with pagination, etc. 
So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.